You didn't see the chat, but go ahead anytime. Oh, I didn't see it. Sorry. Producer. For the love of God, go. I can't. I can't. <laughs> oh. You're good for launch. May 20th, 2020, MLB Central is ready to go. We're in rare form, I can tell you that. MLB Central, Robert Flores, Mark DeRosa, I'm Lauren Shahadi. How are we doing? We're anxious for baseball. We're anxious for haircuts, Robert. Oh, wait, what are you saying? <laughs> Did I strike a nerve? Are you, are you calling me fat? What are you saying? <laughs> Do you, can I tell you something? Yeah. I feel like you look better now with your hair long. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, look, it, it's all just, you know, it's all smoke and mirrors at this point. I mean, is from, that a from, compliment? It is. I think he looks oh, great. Okay. I like his hair long. Okay. Well, oh, Robert, I'm going to be honest with you. I've cut my own hair this whole, this whole time. What do you mean? Really? Go on, go on Amazon and get like clippers and you start, I mean, don't go crazy because I know you love your hair. It's good. And yeah. You just keep going one higher. You fade it to the top. Okay. I mean, it's not, it's not perfect. It's not perfect by any stretch, but it'll help you out. I was going to say, I think your hair looks great. So I, I thought that, you know, I know you're in a different part of the country. That's uh, no, this is all me. Okay. You fade it to the top, me. by the way, is the title of my new book. There you go. Someone asked me the other day, what's the weirdest thing you've bought, done, or eaten during quarantine? What's the answer? It's a tough mm -hmm. one. Ooh, Think about is... it. I'll okay. ask you again okay. at the end of the show. All right. Okay. To okay. keep up the baseball talk, we are playing one of our favorite games today. As our producer said, we are introducing Baller Strike Virtual Edition to the world. Oh. <laughs> 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 Sorry. If you agree, it's a strike. Disagree, it's a ball. Bartolo Colon turns 47 this coming weekend. Recently said, if any major league team wants me, I'm available. Big Sexy will pitch in the big leagues again. Mark Thomas, what say you? Do I think he's going to pitch again? Ball or strike. It's the name of the game. I wish it was a shoom, but, but it's, it's going to be a ball. Somebody, we're, we're entertainers now. In a truncated season, I want entertainment. Bartolo Colon gives me that. Plus, he throws nothing but 98% fastballs, which means that three or four of them are getting turned around for homers. So he is... I'm in if he wants to pitch, but I don't think anyone's going to give him a chance. It, Robert, you agree? Yeah, I mean, his statement of uh, if, if anyone wants him, uh, they can have him. I mean, that's pretty much the statement. For, I mean, you could say that about me. Uh, if anyone, you know, it's so I just don't see it's – I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, to Mark's point, it would be great because I'd love to see it, but I don't think – it's a ball. He has a birthday this weekend. Guess who else has a birthday this weekend? Who? Me! <laughs> oh, <laughs> do you really? Happy birthday. 27? Oh, what, are you, what, what are you, 27, 28? 22. 22, 22. Don't my bad, my yeah. bad. Feels yeah. good, yeah. Uh, 40. 40. 40. I'm, 40. I am not 40. She's not 40. Oh, okay. Josh Beckett just turned 40 this past I know. Or 50, like someone next to me. The MLB Dream Bracket, a simulated game featuring the best teams in baseball history going head to head. Some mm -hmm. say 61 mm -hmm. Yankees, 98 Yankees. A Yankee team will win the Dream Bracket. Yes or no? Robert, you're pontificating. Well, I, I just wonder if maybe you could explain a little bit of what this Dream Bracket is. <laughs> and uh... That's your job. Oh, okay. No, I, I think I think that that is a strike. I think that it's I think it's going to be the 1998 Yankees. And once again, the the dream bracket challenges the best teams across all generations of me up. baseball history. Uh, going head to head in simulated games, you can find them on the MLB Network Twitch channel. Uh, but yeah, I, I think it's going to be the 98 Yankees that win the whole thing. I ag I agree with Robert, and you know what's beautiful about that, Robert? They had. They had the core four, no doubt. Yep. But the beauty of that is they were ultimate team, right? You don't look around at every position and say, superstar, superstar, superstar. Yep. Scott Brocious was a grinder. Tino Martinez was great. Grind it out. Paul O'Neill. Like these, they, it was the perfect storm for a perfect team. That's what I loved about it. Were you on a team like that? The 03 Braves absolutely raked. I mean, that team put up monster home run numbers and had horses. I mean, I, we got knocked out in the first round of postseason, so I can't, you can't go on. You know, Cubbies came out of nowhere with Kerry Wood and Pryor and Zambrano, then they were doing it. But, yeah. 
Yeah, I've been on a couple teams, but not that Yankee team was special. The uh, the Dero, the '95 Braves and the '57 Braves are in this uh, dream bra- dream bracket tournament. So a couple of uh, Atlanta teams there. Uh, let, let's let's talk about another champion, and that is our current champion, the uh, Washington Nationals. Okay, so they're going to have a special ring ceremony uh, that's going to air on MLB Network this Sunday, seven o'clock Eastern. Ball or strike, our own Lauren Shahadi is going to appear in that ceremony uh Dero remember she did sign a contract with the Nationals uh in spring training there we go I did if I know Mike Rizzo like I know Mike Rizzo Shahadi's probably getting a ring (laughs) he's the best by the way (laughs) are you in it ball or strike Lauren when they were 19 and 31, I was like, this team stinks. <laughs> so I don't know. That's a shoom. She needs a she needs a World Series ring. I do. Don't That'd we be all? Nice. Right, Robert Flores. Okay. Hey, one more. So Chris Landers on MLB.com wrote about each team's weirdest promotional giveaway. Okay. But as we all know, the best ballpark giveaway ever is the what? The MLB Central bobblehead, right? It is. It, but is that a ball or strike? Is the MLB Central bobblehead the best ballpark giveaway ever? Yeah. By the way, I, it, $40 this, this bad boy's going for on eBay. Come on, really? Yeah. We, do you remember when we were in a minor league game and we were giving out the bobbleheads and the fans were rushing into the stadium and Robert was going, ratings are through the roof. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Ratings are up 15%. Here you go. Here's a bobblehead. (laughs) That bobblehead is absolutely awesome. Do you remember the first sketch of it? You remember Lauren? Yeah. Yes. And I will give you another baller strike question. The bobblehead looks like me. Baller strike. Uh, That's a strike. (laughs) (laughs) Is he right? (laughs) Uh, it's uh, the coolest promotional item, yes. That is a strike. That is a strike. Very good. <laughs> uh, I, I wonder how much an autograph version of, of this, because I know we signed, we, we all signed various $35. Boxes. $35. <laughs> $35. dollars bucks. I'll take it. I'll take okay. it. What's the going rate for the Tooth Fairy now? Tooth if our bobblehead's 35 bucks, um, Probably $20. $20? $20. Dollars? Five? I don't know. I was I mean, gonna say like a buck old, fifty. My ten-year-old lost a the buck tooth fifty to leaving change. The, the tooth no, like it's it's one dollar and then two quarters. One dollar make you holler. That's right. Can we go now? All right, that's the title of my book. That's it. Yeah, there we go. go. All right, that's what we call an ender in the biz. We're gonna have to say goodbye. We'll be back with you on Friday. If uh, Mark DeRosa and Lauren Shahadi, I'm Robert Flores. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Oh, yeah, yeah.